Hello and welcome! Next up for the DC, still in the spirit there. So the next up one will be the Uno Ultimate DC Expansion Pack of none other than, well I think Bat Santa and Hanukkah Santa here are all excited to talk about the add-on pack. Uno Ultimate 2023 Edition Batman. Two chase foil card inside as well. Goes with the core set. If you want to see how it is, go check out the review for the Corsair for the DC one. Go check out the Marvel one too. Links and descriptions throughout the last this video and the last video. So enjoy. Let's open this up now, shall we? I bet that. Well, this box was more annoying than the last ones, so I had to rip it up from the bottom, so it's probably going to be very wonky. What a shame, because the box is neat and shiny, and it's Batman. So there's the two full cards we'll do at the end. And here's just a little bit about Batman, the contents, and what Batman is, the world's greatest detective. It's a shame everybody nowadays is crapping on, but then look at the people that do it, and you'll see why. Sad people. All right. Here is the deck. Here's what they're going to look like on the back. So you'll know whose character decks look like. That's how they always look on the back. You'll have their main cards. And then you'll have the danger deck cards that get shuffled in with every other character. So we'll go over those last. But right now, let's look at Batman's character card. Detective work. When you change the active color, you may look at another player's hand or the top two cards of the danger deck. Ooh. I could see some good use out of that. Now let's look at all the art. So of course there'll be reds and then the other colors as well. But look at the art, really nice, really cool. Here we go, we got some blue in there, ooh. Reverse, skip, you know everything, then there's the color blue. So you have your reds, you have your blues, plus twos, reverses, and skips. Then you have green. Just enjoying all the artwork on this. Love the art on these. They're pretty much, and then yellow. They're pretty much all pretty cool, pretty good. Through all these, I like that one. That's pretty nice. So that's all the colors for the deck. And now let's look at the wild cards of the deck. They play like wilds, but they have added effects. So this one. From the shadows. Choose a player to add one card. Look through their character deck. Your character deck for any card and play it. Cool. As always for those. Ooh. Always prepared. All other players burn a wild card from their hand and then add two cards. That could be kind of good. Would suck to get rid of wild, but that would be kind of cool if you didn't have wild in hand. I like that one. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the art on that. That's really cool. Defeat an enemy. Search the danger discard pile for an event and play it. Ooh, nice. So you can choose whatever event card you want from there. Could be helpful, could be hurtful. I like that. And last night, ladies, I like how there's just the red with the black there. Search for clues. Choose a player to burn two cards. Look through the play pile for a non-wild card and play it. Nice. All right, so there's some really neat stuff there with his wilds. I like his wilds. I think you got a good idea for how his deck would work. But let's look at the enemies first. Of course, Joker. There's his art when flipped. All players add one card, then reverse. Then you do, I guess, like playing reverse. While attacking, skip cards are played as reverse, and reverse cards are played as skip cards. Interesting. To feed me to play a green or a yellow. Scarecrow. Jeez, look at the art on that one. Yikes. When flipped, all players burn one card while attacking. When this enemy is defeated, burn three cards. Defeat with a red. Raz al Ghul. When flipped, Choose a player to burn two cards while attacking. At the start of your turn, reveal your hand. When defeated, flip a danger card. To defeat, yellow or green. Then event, fizzle, defeat enemy. Look at the top three cards of your character deck. And read, raise them in any order. Vengeance. Until the end of your next turn, when you burn cards, choose another player to burn one card. Nice. And then, ooh. Item? He gets an item card. What the hell? Alright, Batman gets a utility belt. Now this is something I was not expecting. This is totally different. At the start of your turn, you may burn one card to place a card from your hand on the bottom of your deck and add one card. Okay. I guess just choosing... Uh, I, get, I have to figure out how this really works, but nice! Okay, okay, that's really cool. 
<laughs> just saying, that's pretty cool. And then there are the location cards. Obviously, you get the Bat Cave, you get little Godzilla there. No. <laughs> when a Batman character plays a one of these cards with exclamation, all our players burn a card. And then, obviously, Gotham City for the location card. When a player recovers a number of cards, they burn two cards after. Very cool. Very cool. I was not expecting the utility belt, Batman. Holy utility belts, Batman. And that's it. You just play that, and that's the Batman uh, card. The uh, add-on deck. Pretty nifty. All right, let's see what shiny cards we got. A red and a yellow. So we got two pretty high kind of rarities. Not the purple, but still. Look how shiny they are. So you can get a shiny version of that art. Usually we don't play these because then we have to sleeve them. <laughs> Probably still want to sleeve stuff nowadays. It's but look at that. It looks pretty cool. And then from the shadows. No, no, quit focusing on them. <laughs> there we go. Pretty awesome. And again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy playing the game. You should definitely check the game out. It's fun. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Like, comment, subscribe. And stay bat gnarly, my friends. And don't forget to keep tuning in to this station. Same gnarly Wolfman time, same gnarly Wolfman station.